what's going on guys? Jake Gottesman here, Director of Nutrition for Overtime Athletes. In the past two videos, I gave you guys guidelines for bulking and cutting. Now I wanna talk to you a little bit about recomposition or gaining muscle mass and losing fat mass simultaneously at the same time. With a lot of my athletes, I find this is a great approach, especially if they fit into one of two categories. That would be my target athlete for this scenario. Those athletes are either gonna be untrained or detrained. Now, an untrained athlete is what it sounds like. It is an athlete who hasn't had much practice with strength and conditioning. He may be coming into the gym for the first time. And my second type of athlete that recomposition is great for is the detrained athlete, or the athlete who has been in season. He comes back to us, he hasn't been strength training a lot, but he's used to it in the past, and we start kicking him back up on a strength training routine. Next thing you wanna figure out is your target weight. Is recomposition the best for you? Now, target weight for that. If I'm a 180 pounds and my goal is between 175 and 185, this is going to be a great approach for me. If I'm 175 and I'm looking to be maybe 200, this might not be the best approach. I might go with a classic just bulking approach like I outlined in my, next, uh, my last video. So remember, plus or minus five pounds, great for you for this next thing I want to figure out am I bulking or am I cutting now like I said we still want to gain muscle mass and lose fat mass at the same time but we want to have an emphasis does our emphasis want to be ultimately gaining a little bit of weight or losing a bit of weight like I said if you're trying to gain plus five you're going from 180 to 185 we want to go with a bulk recomp approach if you want to be 175 and you're 180 you want to go with a cutting recomp approach there's a couple ways to do this if you want to go into your bulking recomp approach you want to have a minor caloric surplus like I said we're tracking in, in a previous video we're tracking our calories we know what our maintenance calories are if I want to go into a bulk recomp I'm gonna add 300 calories a minor surplus if I want to be in a cutting recomp I'm gonna lower my calories a little bit by 300 so again I'm gonna be in a caloric deficit by 300 calories Next thing I want to do is I want to play with my protein consumption. If you fit into one of these categories of either untrained or detrained, then you definitely want to follow 0.8 to 1.1 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So again, if you're untrained, detrained, or even if you have a very high percentage of body fat percentage, this is going to be great for you. If you're fairly trained, uh, or you have lots of muscle mass and you have a very low body fat percentage, but you're still looking to get a little bit of benefits from recomposition, then you're going to want to do a lot higher of a protein consumption at 1.2 to 1.4 grams of protein per body weight. Now, this is fairly high protein consumption. This is one of the reasons why I start some of my guys off at as a 30% protein from my 5532 method that I outlined in a previous video. The reason this protein is so high is this is what's going to allow you to gain muscle mass and lose fat mass at the same time. If you think about it like a bank account, I'm taking $500 out of one bank account and I'm putting it into the other bank account. Now, since protein is so high, carbohydrates may take a hit. This is why meal timing is so important because if your carbohydrates are getting a little bit low, your performance might take a hit. And again, your athletes, you want to perform at a high level. So you're going to want to make sure that your carbohydrates are timed before your workout. So if you have two meals before your workout, you want those to be very high carbohydrate meals as opposed to post-workout where you might want to pull back on the carbohydrates a bit, have a little bit more fat and potentially a lot more protein as these, as I outlined here, guys. So now, First, figure out if this is an approach for you. Make sure you're tracking your body fat percentage at the start. That way you can see if the recomp is working and you can actually see. It might be hard for you guys if you weigh in at 185 at the beginning and then three months later you're 186. You might not really notice a difference because on the scale it's only going to say a one pound difference. But if you're tracking your body fat percentage and you see you went up a pound but you went down 4%, in body fat, you know the recomp is working. Now these are the same guidelines that I've done for myself to show that you can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. I followed around a 1.2 grams uh, per pound of body weight in protein. I did my body composition uh, three months in between each other and it was shown that I gained about, about a pound of muscle and lost about six pounds of fat. I have that printed out. I'm gonna have Danny put the picture of it right here. Um, that way you guys can see that this is something you can definitely do. Now remember, 
untrained and detrained, this is perfect for you. If you fall into a more high, highly trained athlete and you're someone who's been training a long time, then higher protein is gonna be great for you guys. Make sure to keep meal timing um, very important right before your workouts, especially if your carbohydrates are taking a hit. But these are my outlines for recomposition for an athlete, guys. In the next video, I'm gonna talk a bit about supplements to help you guys out.